Hey all, so I'm here with my friend Callum, and uh, we're trying out something new for you guys to, to see uh, what you think. And it's it's kind of a, a dual, well, it's not really a dual commentary or, or Photoshop tennis or anything, but this is something pretty unique. So, uh, Callum, you, you want to let everyone know where you're from, what you, uh, how long you've been doing art, stuff like that? Yeah, sure. Um, hey everyone, I'm Callum from... Melbourne, Australia, and uh, I've been doing art about five years, and this last year I've been focusing a lot more on portrait art and that sort of thing, uh, working with mainly like charcoal and pencil and that sort of stuff, and uh, I just thought it'd be a cool idea if we kind of cross the two mediums together, being like traditional drawing and Evan's graphics work, and so, sort of to see what we could come up with, I guess. Yeah, yeah. This is the first time I've ever tried anything like this as well, where we take a um, your traditional, um, and this is all charcoal, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. This is all charcoal. I mean, I plotted out parts of it with this gray lead pencil in the beginning, but yeah, everything else is charcoal. This is wild. This this takes some some serious serious talent to be able to do this stuff. It. <laughs> it how long did this take you to do? Uh, it took about. Uh, anyway, between eight and ten hours, give or take. Wow! It, uh, over how many days? Uh, I did it over probably two weeks, <laughs> to be honest. Like just sort of drawing when I had time. That's that's why you can sort of see the scenes change in the video <laughs> and the lighting <laughs> change a lot, which is a bit of a pain. But there's not much you can do about it. Yeah, it's it's funny as you watch it because you can you can see it start out bright and then it darkens like it's yeah. over the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need so, to do something about that. <laughs> what made you choose uh, uh, Bob Dylan for the uh, the portrait? Oh, well, like most of the other portraits, I've sort of just been doing uh, influences or uh, characters from movies that I like and that sort of thing. And my dad and my brother are big fans of Bob Dylan, so I just thought, oh, and myself, so I thought it'd just be a cool piece. It was really cool. Man, it came out really, really good. It was yeah. tricky to, to go back in because you, there's a lot of... Um, I remember doing charcoal in, in art school, and there's a lot of... Uh, well, maybe it was just my professor, but he kept telling me, try not to do any hard lines. Um, and I always thought that was kind of weird, but then when you see the final, it makes sense where kind of the edges are a little bit blurry. Um, but then going over it and trying to apply... A style like this, it was interesting to, to do something like this where I'm trying to find the hair strands and stuff. It was it was a challenge, but it was fun. It was a lot of fun to do this stuff. <laughs> yeah, the first time I watched it, I was, I was pretty impressed with how you got all the hair strands in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's definitely something new for me. I I think we should definitely do more of these because it's uh, it's nice to have a challenge, you know. Um, uh, once in a while and and to think um you know how to apply this to to other artwork it, it's just wild yeah i definitely agree i mean I, I just thought like i mean i've watched well i'm sure we both watched plenty of graphic videos and i mean other art videos on youtube and i mean mm -hmm. more or less they don't, they're not all the same but they're all very similar in in the basic default way i guess so that's kind of different nice to see something change and something different than everything else I guess yeah 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 I, I think this is probably a first I, <laughs> I have yet to see anything <laughs> anything like this on YouTube so it's uh, it, it, it's fun to do have, now I noticed on your channel you have um, four or five or maybe six other portraits is uh, do you have plans on the next one you'd like to do or um, you know anything like that or uh, not, necess not necessarily. I haven't thought of. Uh, yeah, I've got. I've done probably about ten or so so far. Um, mm -hmm. Portraits that is, but uh, I have no idea who I'm going to do next. <laughs> Leave it up to the comments. <laughs> no, I'm not well, sure. Well, you're extremely talented with the charcoal. It, do you do you use any other mediums for like painting or anything? Uh, I've done a little bit of painting. I haven't uh, worked with portraits a lot. Uh, with painting, I've done more landscapes and that sort of thing. But uh, apart from charcoal, especially the portraits, so I've, I've worked with pencil uh, probably the most out of anything. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. And self-taught or school or 
Um, from a young age, uh, I used to draw with my pa. He was an artist, and he used to do a lot of realism art also, um, between portraits and animals and that sort of thing. So I sort of grew up drawing with him, and throughout schooling, I've done pretty much all art subjects I can. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Yeah, we, it sounds like uh, we might have that in common. Where uh, one of my one of my oldest memories is waking up early in the morning and um, getting this big box of crayons and construction paper off the washing machine and <laughs> sitting right in front of turning on cartoons and then just drawing for hours and hours and hours. That's it. That's pretty much yeah. what I still do. <laughs> <laughs> I miss those days. <laughs> yeah. yeah definitely. Well, cool. Well, it, it's good to have you, and we should definitely do more of these. So, uh, yeah, for sure. Let me know who you want to do next, and yeah, everybody go sub to his channel. He's got a couple channels there in the description below, and uh, yeah, it's good to have you. No worries, thanks. All right, take care. Yeah.